Well, the French think we're frying them a bit too much. Uh, Bank, uh, BNP Paribas, a big French uh, financial institution, uh, has already acknowledged that it has done business with countries that were supposedly the target of U.S. and other uh, European country sanctions. Uh, Iran comes to mind, a host of others. So right away, uh, the bank acknowledged that that was a no-no, shouldn't have been doing it. But a $10 billion fine for doing it, it even prompted this comment from French Foreign Minister Lauren Fabius today, and I, I want to use my French accent to, to emphasize this. If there is a violation of a rule, it is normal to have a penalty. But the penalty must be proportional and reasonable. These figures are not reasonable. Okay. Jesse Jane Duff, Scott Martin, and Kate Rogers overwhelmed with my acute <laughs> French sense of rage. Jesse oui, Jane, oui. Um, <laughs> what they're saying is $10 billion. Really? Really? Right. But this is causing a bit of an international crisis. What do we do? Well, Department of Justice had collected a total of $8 billion in fines in fiscal year 2013. This fine alone would overwhelm the entire amount collected that they got in 2013. So, yes, it's egregious, and it's very aggressive. BNP shares dropped because they had estimated a $1.1 billion fine, and it set aside the money to do so. This is five times the, the original estimated amount. So this is wiping them out. And, you know, the thing is that um, we're playing hardball on this, right, Kate? We're saying that you either do this, and they're banding about the figures, or uh, cash in and out of this country, you can no longer do Yeah, we're trying to really lay down the law, but $10 billion does seem excessive. And, you know, people who are opposed to this say that this might really hurt businesses in France because BNP may not be able to lend. But they sin. Now, the other argument is they sin. They did this. They were doing business with tyrants. I and, think... And they, everyone signed on to not doing that. I understand that, but the fine... It just seems a bit It's expensive. disproportional to it, that. Ten million is a lot shame, of cash. Shame, shame, shame. Listen, the European no, that's economy... No, shame. Oh, that's shame. shame. Quel dommage. <laughs> there you yeah. go. I'm a French major. Yeah, I took French exactly. in college. You know, here's the thing, though. The European economy is going to sink itself in its own right because they can't figure out how to stimulate their darn economy, number one. Number two, Neil, this is the M.O. of the U.S. government. Now we're just... Now we're playing a lot of fun and games here. We're going overseas because we know. We talked about... Jesse J. mentioned it. All the fines coming on the banks nowadays. J.P. Ridiculous. Morgan. They're going after these guys and saying, hey, Bank President Cavuto, do you want to stay in business? We're not going to jail you. We're not going to come to your house in the middle of the night. Meet me in the alley with a bag of cash, and we won't bang down your doors tomorrow and keep you closed. And supporters of this say, in the, in the Journal article today, they say that more Americans want to see financial crimes, you know, punished, but this is in France. It's not even here. So. But there is, what I also wonder about, Jesse, is where is this money going? I mean, we were trying to quantify the total fines if this goes through. I think it's 35, could be 40 billion for all I know if you had J.P. Morgan Chase and Bank of America and everything else. And I just wonder, does it go into a big old pot, or is it making people who've been screwed by this whole helping investors want? <laughs> Well, it, it, it's starting to look like the Department of Justice is a shakedown artist. I mean, when you look at, they had originally been this only the millions of... This is hurting my people. Italian-Americans, this is, this is conjuring <laughs> yes, up images of the Sopranos, and I don't Italian. think that's why. <laughs> but when you look at what their fines were just uh, barely six years ago, which were in the millions of dollars that they had collected, and now they were up to $8 billion last year. Now they're talking $10 billion to one bank. Even the, 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 the French bank minister had stated this wasn't even against the European or French laws. All right. It is weird, but that's French. This is something back in the United States that's going on. We've always talked about there's got to be room for cuts in, in our entitlement programs. How about $18 billion using different eye drops? Does it sound crazy? Well, if, if, that's what one professor figured Medicare could save over, over 10 years using a, a cheaper drug for eye medication, essentially eye, eye drops. If you use Aviston, it's $55 for treatment. If you use the one that apparently is much more expensive, Lucentis, that's $2,023 for treatment. Multiply it times millions who use this, and you get to the $18 billion over 10 years. Kate, that's just one drug for one group of people over 10 years. Well, Neil, if Washington did this, we'd all be out of work. What would we be talking about here? I mean, you can't expect Movies. Them. Movies. No, you yes. I think that this is really stunning, and what the professor uncovered is crazy. Billion. I know, $55 versus over 2000 but they're trying to implement a broad, far program, and I think if you really dig deeper, and we expect them to and hope that they do, but it would be much more costly, and I don't think that they are And it changes the structure what incentivizes the doctors to go for the expensive well, drugs. I mean, that's exactly. the huge The doctor who, who, you know, prescribes the $2,000 drug 
get some get a nice some much cut. more yeah, yeah healthy cut and that's exactly. in his best interest exactly Kate uh, Neil if you're the US government uh, you have an unlimited supply of money via the money supply you just right. put a couple zeros on it uh, a really healthy tax base I guess somewhat still days these uh, ability to get assets and revenues whenever you want uh, no shareholders bondholders but guess what you get to borrow at ridiculously low, rate, low rates regardless of your credit quality would you care well, that's just it. You don't. There's no accountability. And I, I'm always saying, like, are there, are, you know, generic alternatives, that sort of thing, Jesse, that always comes up in this debate. And I'm not saying everyone would benefit from the generic drug, but could we at least put that out there, that there are cheaper alternatives? You don't want to kill people. You don't want to maim Absolutely. people. You don't want to do anything that's bad. But you want to have the flexibility in the system to control costs. We're not even trying. And this is one dude who just said, look, if we just did this with eye drops. That, yes. That's a big, big, big impact. I mean, it's quite obvious when they showed that one doctor was making 40 percent more than another doctor who is prescribing the other medication. The medication are, are equal. They said that they have the same side effects, they have the same outcomes. So what has happened is basically people see the government as a big pile of money and they can go in there and overcharge and milk it. We saw this with the VA. We were talking about executives earlier that were getting bonuses. When people think that it's an unlimited supply of money, they're going to dig and they're going to go get more. And this goes right back to government managed health care they obviously can't manage anything let alone medicaid and medicare amazing all right just one percent of institution that's out across the board of all drugs all doctors all benefits imagine imagine what you could say all exactly. right guys thank you very much and imagine imagine if we applied simple solutions to the va mess in other words just got people off their ass and moving and helping soldiers it's simpler than you think it begins with get off your ass and help them I'll explain.